Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer reading, October 1st through the 16th, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. How are you? Well, longer reading means I use three decks of cards. I start with my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Kind of gives me the main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards fills in some of those gaps, and then I finish with my, what I call, my advice cards, which is the Osha Zen Tarot cards, okay? I have prayed, meditated, and infused the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay, so let's see what we have here. One, okay, one card did slide out. Let's go ahead and cut for the others. All three cards are reversed. That's a stronger message, so pay attention. But also, too, please remember, this is so important to like, share, and subscribe, that I really appreciate your support with this. Thank you. Okay, first card. Again, these are all reversed. The Eight of Fire. Okay, fire energy is your, your Leo, your um, Aries, your Sagittarius. It's passionate. It's burning. And this is, you know... Uh, you know, basically, I think October is going to be an extremely, extremely busy month for you. I feel that there's going to be, you know, you, that you're, you're going to be balancing your social and your work and your home life. And that it's really, I feel like you're almost juggling. Okay, you're juggling. And on top of it all, even though this is all, you know, you're trying to balance this and, it, you know, and you're trying to keep things, all the balls in the air. It gets kind of hard for you. And on top of it all, it's like you're not getting a break from your work either. So, events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So let's see what our next card is. The Queen of Earth. Okay? This is your energy. It is our Taurus and it's our Capricorn energy. Solid energy. Money energy. It could be your job energy. It could be your, you know, something you can actually touch, okay? That type of energy, your household. So again, I really feel that this is going to be a busy, busy month, at least start of the month for you. And you're going to need to make sure that you take care of yourself during this time. Whether you be male or female, you're going to need to make sure that you take time out for yourself, that you do some, you know, that you do some decompressing because and I'm not saying that this is going to be bad energy. It's just that I really feel for you it's going to be extremely busy energy. So the Queen of Earth is thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Your last card, the Four of Fire. Again, it's that fire energy. It's that passionate energy. So in some ways, even though, like I said, I do feel that your work energy is going to be very strong. I feel that with your work energy that, you know, they're basically, you know, they're watching you. They're, they actually are considering you for other steps, for other positions. You know, they're, you know, it, it's almost like, you know, you might be, you might be in line for a promotion. You might not know about it but you might be in a line for it. It's like things, you know, but again, I feel like you're just, you know, you're juggling. You're juggling everything, but in a way, you're handling it. You're handling the, um, what could be to many other people, stressors. So this is contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, a successful completion of a project. So that's in itself is, you know, I mean, that in itself is like, you handle it. You handle it well. Okay, let's see. What, what we can, you know, any clarification for our Virgos, clarification for our Virgos, because, you know, I do feel, you know, I don't feel necessarily change of jobs. Now, if you're looking for a job, oh, yeah, you know, this is, you might be busy out there with um, interviews, but if you're, and if you're looking for jobs, um, it might be like the job, you're like, wait a minute, I have, I have, you know, because I was not, you know, working or because, you know, I, you know, I've, I've created so much other busy stuff, and now, you know, they start coming. I do feel that there's going to be an attraction for work for you. You know, work is going to be, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I feel that there's that work is coming to you. Now, I do feel, though, that, you know, most of you will be within your own company. It's like new positions could be created just for you. Um, but again, you're just so busy. You're so busy. Don't, don't be too busy that you missed the interview, okay? 
Let's go ahead and cut. Okay, let's see what we have here. Three cards face down. Let's see what we have. Ah, reversed energy. So I mean, reverse cards. So basically, you know, this is a strong. So remember what I told you about taking care of yourself. Remember, you know, this is, you know, while this is emotional withdrawal, you're like, ooh, okay, what am I separating myself from? And it could be that you're separating yourself from something. But this person is doing some meditation. This person's connecting with their higher power. This person is connecting with the, you know, with water, with, you know, with the energies around, around him. So the thing is, you know, remember that even though you're so busy, you know, you're so busy, you need to step back and take care of yourself, okay? Next card. This would be the nine of clubs, clubs, you know, nine. <laughs> this would be the nine of water. This is the wish card. This is like things, you know, things coming together. Always, you know, and I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. Be careful what you wish for. You might get it. And again, you know, it, it's like, but in this case, go ahead and make sure you do make your wishes. Go ahead and make sure you do put it out there, okay? Um, because this is, again, this is the fulfillment of the wishes. This is you getting what you've been asking for. Be very careful in what you ask for. Again, I feel you're so busy, so busy, so busy that, you know, you need to take, you, you need to um, step back. But if you have been wanting promotion, if you've been wanting more, um, you know, more earth energy, if you've been wanting a job, this is a great time for you to get it. Okay. Next card, sacrifice. Okay. Sacrifice, you know, this is an interesting card because in some ways, sacrifice has been, you know, it's like the energy that you had to put into it, you had to take from someplace else. So maybe you've taken, you know, maybe if you are in your work scenario, your work, you know, if we're going with that type of relationship, you had to take energy from your intimate relationship or from your family relationship and put it into this relationship. Or maybe you had to take Maybe for an intimate relationship, you had to take it from your work or your family. You know, so you see, it, it's you know from one of that. So it's it's a sacrifice. One is taken from the other. Now, maybe two because I like again I feel such busyness with the social, family, and work. You know that maybe this is the sacrifice that it, your body takes. Okay, I'm not quite sure. However, when I look at this, when I look at her. Even though she is in the, you know, in the muddy water, in the muddy water down here, she is rising, you know, she is rising like a queen. She is rising clean. She is rising and she is almost holding on, you know, to that, you know, she is almost holding on to that rainbow, okay? It's like her hands can, all, you know, come almost touch it. She also has her hands in like, almost like a prayer. She doesn't look worried. So in a way, whatever the sacrifice has been, it does pay off in the end. And maybe that's where your wish comes true. Maybe maybe you've been putting in a lot of overtime. And now, again, because I do feel that this work thing, whatever this work thing is, I do feel that they've been watching you. Not like, ooh, we're watching you, but kind of like, Ah, oh, Virgo over there. She, you know, she, he does good job. He does a good work. He does good work. So I feel like they're watching you, and they may be wanting to prep you for another step. Okay, but the thing is, take care of yourself. So I guess you know, being so busy, you know, the balls juggling in the air. Make sure you don't let one thing don't don't let one thing slip in order to accommodate the other. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Because I do feel that your work is watching, your work is prepping you, and you don't, you know, even though you may want to kind of say, oh, I like to get out early today so I can go to my party or I can go do this, this, be careful. Don't do that because I think that your work is getting ready for you to take that next step. Okay? Okay. And I don't feel, like I said, I don't feel it's a different job as much as I feel it's within what you do. 
Okay, let's see. Do we have any words of advice for our Virgos? Okay, we do have some words. And we have three cards. Okay, so let's put these out here. They are face down. Let's see what we have here. First card, sharing. Okay, this kind of reminds me of our, you know, of our Queen of Earth. This is kind of that take care of yourself. This is kind of that let me give to you. This is the, you know, like kind of like the universe giving to you, but also you giving back. So this is, you know, remember, you know, maybe these are words, maybe these are the words of advice. Remember what you give, you should all, what you get, you should also give. Okay, remember that. Next card, rebirth. I love this. I love this because this was on the fulfillment of wishes and this is a new beginning this is you know now this is not necessarily the phoenix rising but this is again you know the um you know here is the lion here is the you know the rebirth but the lion you know here here this is gray now this is a camel down there and the camel looks kind of goofy down there but the soul of the lion comes out this is that new that new generation that new regeneration and again i feel that that's very much with your work okay and the last card is silence okay interesting that this one is on sacrifice this is again that connection you know my my virgos you have a very strong spiritual connection keep it while you are you know through this october this beginning of october make sure that it stays very very strong okay because you're going to need that through all the all the, you know all the hoops that you're going to have to jump through um you know all the busyness that you're going to go through because i really yeah again shall we say that again you're going to be really i feel you're going to be really busy beginning of october so my virgos as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye-bye